Hello guys, here is Ole and my blog about Ukraine. Finally, I uh, decided to make a video about Ukrainian music and Ukrainian musicians. You asked me a lot about that and today I presented you my video. If you're interested just in list of Ukrainian singers and musicians, you can exactly move to the description of video and I left all links here. I found links on YouTube channel there where you can listen to your music and see there are some movies and something else and now I'm going to tell you uh, a little more about some interesting of Ukrainian um, musicians. So I start from Ukrainian pop music. Uh, Ukrainian pop music uh, can be divided, like um, not officially, uh, into two different parts. We have just simple pop music that is the same in Ukraine, in Russia, in England, in Sweden, and in any other countries. So it's just pop music, nothing interesting, just beautiful girls, beautiful singers, and beautiful um, dancings and something else. And I will not tell about them because there is nothing special. Just Ukrainian singers and I also mentioned them on the list of uh, um, my musicians. Now I want to make accent in some um, pretty interesting Ukrainian musicians uh, which is um, very special and uh, maybe it will be interesting for you. Uh, first one is Tig. It's band from Vinnytsia and they played music in a kind of folk um, style. Uh, they are very, very popular in Ukraine and um, uh, their music is very interesting. Uh, they have different type of music, just pop music and some like uh, wedding Ukrainian music, very interesting and all their songs is in Ukrainian language. Dido. Uh, Dido in Ukrainian Carpathian language means uh, grandpa. Uh, this band from the region, very popular in Ukraine, crazy popular in Ukraine, especially for teenagers, of course, who love pop music. And uh, um, they are very popular just because of funny music with very funny sounds and also uh, uh, they have a lot of um, intro movie before the music and it's super funny and all these phrases that they speak in these um, movies become very very popular and it's very very funny really and uh, Didion According to his legend, he lives in a village with two of his friends. Uh, his mom is earning money in Italy, like more, uh, most of, uh, like a lot of women from Ukraine, kind of 7 million of women earn money in Italy. She sent the, uh, this money for him and he has fun in Ukraine. It's like a typical story and uh, all his music is in Ukrainian language. Ruslana. Uh, she is great Ukrainian singer and great activist of Ukraine and she is from Lviv. Uh, she has music in some kind of uh, Carpathian style, not always, but a lot of music is in Carpathian style and she started with this style uh, when, he started, when she started her career. Uh, she became popular in Europe and probably all over the world when she been when she won Eurovision in 2004 year and um, uh, her music is very dynamic, very energetic and of course all music is in Ukrainian language. So if you want to know what is Carpathians, uh, listen to her music and look at her movies. Lama, uh, it's Ukrainian pop uh, rock band. All their music is very dynamic, very interesting and uh, this band is also from Lviv region. Haitana. Uh, Haitana is Afro-Ukrainian girl. Uh, her father is from Congo, but uh, her mom is from uh, Ukraine and she lives in Ukraine all her life. Just in the beginning of, like, she was born, I think, in Congo. And uh, her music, most of her songs is always in Ukrainian, also in Ukrainian language. Uh, some of them are in Russian and some is in English. And um, she has pretty interesting music, so if you like, want, you can listen it also. Uh, Jamala. Jamala is Ukrainian and Crimea Tatar singer. Uh, she's from Crimea and she's super singer and she has a marvelous voice. She also won a lot of competition, a lot of musician competition and um, she's 
uh, her like uh, songs in very very interesting style like blues, uh, jazz and um, um, she's very very expressive. She reminds me kind of Lady Gaga really and uh, I suggest you listen to her songs also. I hope you like it and she looks so beautiful. Kazaki. Uh, Kazaki is a popular Ukrainian band and uh, especially girls, girls love them. Uh, what is special in this band? Uh, the most fun thing is that it's boys band but they dance on high heels. Uh, but these guys are normal, they are not gays, just mm, they are good dancers and it was, at the beginning it was like a dance project, dance on high heels and uh, uh, they are pretty good at it and um, uh, the, this band was in Madonna's movie Girl Gone Wild and uh, most of these songs is in English. Uh, also guys, I want to tell you if you want to listen, if you want to read a little more about the singers, what I mentioned here in this video and in the list of the description of movie, you can also go to my blog post, here is the link, and uh, you can uh, read a little more about these, all of these uh, singers, if you are interested, of course, and about these musicians. Uh, now about Ukrainian rock music. Uh, I found a lot of rock band uh, of Ukraine and a lot of uh, ba these bands call themselves like rock band. But I want to say that we have some really rock band and some of them just pop music in kind of rock style, something like that. So I started from pop rock band and finished just in rock band. Uh, of course, if you ask anyone in Ukraine and maybe just person who was in Ukraine, what is the most popular rock band? in Ukraine, everyone tell you it's Okean Elze. They are crazy popular here, they are popular as hell probably and you can listen to their music everywhere in restaurants, in hotel, even if you go to bathroom you can hear their music. They are very very popular in Ukraine. Uh, all of their songs is in Ukrainian language and uh, their song is with a deep sense. This band is 20 uh, years old and from Lviv, from West Ukraine and um, they have probably very very great music because most Ukrainians love them. Uh, the next one is uh, Vevan, or this like short name and full name is Vopli Vidoplasva. Uh, it's popular Ukrainian rock band also from 1986 year, very very old mostly 30 years old band. In the beginning of 90s their band traveled in Europe uh, when people loved their Slavic uh, tunes. Um, especially they was popular in France so they lived there till uh, 1996 years and um, I must say that Vava sings in very special style uh, but um, their music still be interesting for Ukrainians uh, even after 30 years of their activity and also all their songs is in Ukrainian language. Skriabin. Skriabin was very very popular band in Ukraine. It was also was created in 1989 year and um, uh, half years ago half year ago uh, their leader uh, died in a um, car crash and it was terrible tragedy for all Ukraine because really all Ukraine was in sorrow. You can find a lot of big boards with his face that we like remember him. We have now a lot of concerts on his honor and he was very very popular. Uh, he, the leader was very very popular. Anyway, uh, the new music was very interesting. I also left link on the new music and I don't know what the future of this band uh, because um, now just everyone re re reminds his leader, but maybe in the future they change him. I will find like um, other person and will be probably very successful in future. Uh, Mad Hats Excel. The uh, songs is in a punk and rockabilly style. Uh, this band is created in 1991 in Ukraine and they were popular not only in Ukraine but also abroad. And their music is different because they play music in Ukrainian folk style, swing style and punk style. And also all their songs is in Ukrainian language. Uh, Karpa. Um, their leader Irana Karpa, she is very very 
energetic and very extra original girl and uh, this um, uh, band was created in Ivano Frankivsk also West Ukraine in 1992 and they, their music uh, in Ukraine is pretty popular and also uh, this band was in the concert took part in the concert of uh, Madeline Manson so it was before he sing they sing uh, their music and their music is really something kind of Marilyn Manson style. Uh, Otvinta, uh, it's a band from Rivne. Uh, their music is in rockabilly style, but all their songs in the Ukrainian language also, like Karpa, also in Ukrainian language, and uh, that's why they, their style uh, calls Ukrabili style, something like that. Marshmallow. Marshmallow, it's uh, kind of really something like rock band and they play alternative rock and in spite of the fact all the songs is about love uh, their style calls love alternative rock uh, Marsh leader of Marshmallow for a long time lives in Seattle uh, and that's why I think their music is very very um, similar with Engl uh, is American alternative rock because um, I don't know but for me American rock is very very different from other rocks that I hear and their music is typical American alternative rock. Of course, it's not all music of uh, Ukrainians. Ukraine have crazy um, amounts of musicians because we are a big country. We have more than uh, 47 million of people. But I just mentioned the most interesting singers. But I also ask you to go to my blog post because uh, here is more band. I also find Ukrainian national socialistic black metal. We have heavy metal, gothic metal, and uh, a lot of different different music, a lot of different pop singers that I also try to mention here. The most the most popular. And sure, guys, I'm waiting for your comments because it's really interesting. If you love Ukrainian music, if you don't like Ukrainian music, uh, here is I don't mention ethnic music because ethnic Ukrainian music I will tell in other video and here is just the most popular modern music which is popular now in Ukraine also I didn't mention uh, singers who was popular in Ukraine before but now we didn't hear them we don't hear them and waiting for your comments ask me questions on the comments if you don't mention some music and love you all guys bye